Hello everyone. It's time for that in reading for the new year of 2021, the calendar year of new 21. I'm going to point that out because there are several calendar years that go on in the year. There is the Chinese, which begins actually in February. There is the seasonal, which will begin in the spring. And there's also both the Arabic, the new the Mayan, the Judic calendar, and so forth, all showing different dates of when the actual beginning of the new year is. And so right now we're working off of the uh, Gregorian calendar, or, or the calendar year, which has been the one we've used for quite a number of years. So I want you to keep that in mind, that there may be some other shifts. Equally, with all the events that have happened in this year, it's not like any event just stops as soon as it hits uh hits the month, year, or a certain mileage. That's something that we see with, with any cartoon. And it's very well used in cartoons. But everything that happens will cast a shadow. And that shadow will linger until a certain point in time where it has gone, it's reached its peak. So keep that in mind that even though 2020 is ending, we're going to do, be dealing with the shadows and the ripples that were generated in 2020. 20 into 2021. So just keep that in mind as we go forward and looking at what 2021 has and what we can build and create good breaks to help dispel those shadows, but also how we can use that those ripples to build something new and better. So let's go ahead and get the ancestors in and see what they got to say. And Happy New Year, everyone. Alrighty, so we have thrown and we have a much more dispersed reading. So our dice ended up on the th number three, which is the third house, which focuses on communications, siblings, friends, neighborhood, and community. And our Adinkra card for this one is the king of the Adinkra symbols, which centralizes around authority, greatness, prudenceness, firmness, and magnanimous, magnanimity. So how do those, these two very different things work together in relation to all of this? And the simple fact of the matter is how communication is something that is going to be very important here as we have spent the last several years dealing with the issue of fake news. We're going to, in this next year, we're going to be dealing with really starting to see and focus on an authority, not so much an authority, but a sense of, are we communicating with the right sense of authority? There is a way that you can communicate with a heavy hand, and there's a way you can communicate with a gentle hand. And we're going to have to try and, again, find that balance because it has been unbalanced in these last four years. We're also having to re-examine what constitutes the sense of greatness. And this is especially one that comes in our relationship with our friend, or with our siblings, our family, our neighborhoods, and our communities. What constitutes grace and greatness? Is the sense of violence? Is that sense of selfishness? Is that sense of distrust a sign of greatness? Prudenceness. Are we looking at ourselves in the distant future, not just the moment? And this is, again, it comes back to one, how we're communicating it, two, what type of relationship we're having with our siblings. And I will put it this way, as our siblings are all not just those that are our blood connection. Traditionally, in many cultures worldwide, the aspect of the bond of brother, sister, cousin, aunt is something that is connected to those who were not blood related. The, they are that aspect of the relationship of intention is our intention to have connection is our intention to have communication is our connection to have greatness that lifts, lifts everyone and not just a few the firmness well let's be frank the firmness that we have to have in this next year centers around the sense of are we putting our community and our greater communities at the center of what we and how we are acting. And that aspect of many would say that what happened here in the U.S. with the those who are MAGAs or those who follow Trump 
are a community, yes, and they have a firmness in that. And that, but it is also that sense of they are not responsible, they are not connected to, they are immune to the impact that the greater world has on them. They can force their way into saying the world will follow what they do. And the greater thing is that the nature, spirits, our ancestors are a much greater force than they are. So the firmness we need to be looking at is confirming that aspect of connection with our community, with our neighbors, with our families and our friends, and what we are communicating. And that, that we are not going to just be able to be held, everybody, as a singular individual. There is a time that was useful. Our time of the focused individual may be passing. We need to balance that individuality with the sense of community with a sense of connection. And lastly, we have the magnanimity, which is about showing grace and compassion and the power we have to help others as opposed to helping ourselves. And again, focusing on how we communicate this, focusing on how we have our, how we're magnanimous in our communications, how we're magnanimous with our siblings, how we're magnanimous with our friends, how we're magnanimous with our neighbors and magnanimous with our communities because the good of the community ensures that we as the individuals can also thrive. And all of that is tied between what the Adinkra is showing and what we get with the third house because these are all things about the depth of connection. So when we look at the rest of what we've got here going on, this one is work here for our main bones. This one is family. And this one over here is home. So we also have the shell, which is turned inward. So as again, we're gonna be looking at more of the internal aspects, our internal communications with ourselves, with our families, with our friends, with our neighbors, with our community. How are we practicing or adjusting the concepts of authority that we have been operating within for 2020 and be and earlier. 2021 is the start of a new decade. Some say we start with zero, others will say we start with one, but we're starting essentially with that sense of the authority that we practice with ourselves. Is it in being from, again, the standpoint of a rough hand and a fist or from an open hand? And there is a time where we have to use both. And we have to be able to flex between both. And we're going to be seeing that with ourselves internally and especially around our work. And our work, again, is not always about what we do to pay the bills. It's about the work we do in the world. And in this next, and in this year that's going to come, our work about what we do as the soul is going to be much stronger. It's going to be a much more of a central part. And it's going to ask us to look at a lot more of our inner workings and the inner things that we work through. And there is support behind that here with the support of the, with the, so these balancing bones and spinal bones right next to this. Equally, we've got spirit, even though it's at the edge of the reading surface here, it's got both the rib bones here, one is the broken one here, and it's sort of creating a directional arc into this. Spirit will be there to help us. We just have to be open to inviting it in for that guidance of how to be in better connection with people, how to better communicate, how to have better relationships with our friends, families, and siblings, how to better operate with, from a sense of authority that is not about destruction, that is not about selfishness, or the sense of our greatness is found by how we help others, how and who remembers us, because that's another thing who and why and what they remember us for. Do they want to remember us for being tyrants? Do they want to be remembered for being the person who saw people grow in love? While we've got plenty of history of, of tyrants listing like Hitler, Stalin, uh, King Leopold, Pol Pot, these are still names that list that come with a sense of wanting to spit they're not necessarily seen as the ones we want to really enjoy because what they brought was pain. What they are is 
the, the moral lesson, or not to say not moral lesson, they are the reminder of what this path will provide. That it will always lie in infamy, not in the uh, delight and the cheer of that name. They don't operate in the sense of magnanimity. Those are all names that are not connected with magnanimity and seeing the greatness of the people around them. And spirit will help those who are trying to help the spirits around them, help the people around them. Only the spirits that feed on pain and ignorance and suffering are going to propel those who want what those other people I've named before. And the, what they can, what they shared there is not what we're looking at. For being able to bring into 2021 and build and rebuild off of the ripples of this, of this first 20 years of the 21st century. We next have the quartz piece, which again is about memory, which is about the crystallization and the tuning of the thoughts that we have. And again, memory is also looking at what did we communicate? What did we have in our relationships with our siblings? What did we have in our relationships with our friends? What did we have in our relationships with our neighborhood and community? How did the memories of what we have been doing in this last year inform us about what we're doing in this next year? how we are looking at how we practiced authority and how we can heal from the authority that was thrown. What did we do wrong? What did we do right? What could have been done as the plan B? What actually brought us greatness and what can we actually use and how we can use that information to drive us forward into what greatness we can have in 2021? What is the prudentness that we need to also show in 2021? What were the things that we didn't do that were prudent in 2020 that left us where we are now? What can we change? And we change for our sense of betterment, not for our sense of fear. What are the places we weren't firm in? And that we can be firm in what we're gonna do in 2021. And lastly, the magnanimousness. What were the places that we weren't generous in? Where were we generous in and where can we do more generousness? Because as we are magnanimous in those things, that is what will last in the memories far longer than the pain. And our goal in 2021 is not to operate from a place of pain wherever possible. And again, there's support bones here. And it is next to the broken rib bone, which I also said have often seen like a cane or a crutch that is providing support. So our memories, we have to look at them not from a place of golden lens and romanticizing. We have to look at them from the place of what was the uncomfortable parts of them so that we can be comfortable moving forward. So we move over here to the family or social bone. And again, we've got a lot of the connections going on here. Now, what can I see here too is the sense that our world is going to be going through a lot of restructurings again about what's happened financially. And there's going to be uh, some more shakeups that come and truths that come. The denial that's there is not going to help. And there are people who will cling to their denial from now until it's time for them to walk off this earth. And we have to let them sit in their denial. We cannot let them stay, let them draw, drag us down with it. So we let go of it. But with also that aspect of moving through the process of letting go of the denial, moving through the anger, moving through the bargaining, moving through the acceptance, we're also going to find new ideas. And what I see here is the gateway for new ideas and new relationships as we move forward. The home bone, as it relates to 2021, not as much as going to be going on there, but it's more sitting off here isolated. 
And I would say there, what I'm hearing is that the environment is something that we're going to seriously also going to be having to take a look at and look at also what this year, 2020 and this pandemic have shown us about the healing ability of the earth and just how much we have had an impact on the state that it's in. But that doesn't mean that what we've done isn't also going to still have an impact and how much we have to shift and change to de bring that and to be in that magnanimous. And it's that magnanimousness towards the earth as well as towards each other. So we've got some other bone bones going on out here. Again, these are all spinal and balance bones and breathing and bones around the ribs, which are also about inspiration. So there's a there's a flood of inspiration. There's a flood of support. There's a flood full of new ideas that will come in, but we've got to be open to them. And being open to them is also knowing where we stand within ourselves. And that's where, again, the shell is saying we have to go inward. Because if we do not open to ourselves inwardly, we cannot be open to things outwardly. So, I know that may not sound like as uh, what we might expect in some of the readings for the new year, but it's really talking again, what is the tone we want to set for ourselves? And our tone is about having better communications, having our better relationships with our siblings, and also recognizing some relationships do need to end. I will say this again, some relationships do need to end so that they can grow and be healed in other ways. And sometimes that a greatness is in recognizing that a relationship needs to end. Sometimes we have to be firm in that a relationship needs to end. So 2021 is about finding all of these things and moving us forward. This is Uncle Destiny on behalf of the ancestors, the Orishas, the Loas, the gods, and whatever you believe in. I wish you a happy new year. And may 21, year 2021 of the new year be a better one for us all.